coverage of MWC 2015 is brought to you by UNU Electronics. Visit myunu.com or the link in the description to check out the best power accessories for Android and iOS. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Dom and today we are checking out the all new HTC One M9. Now you're probably like, hey Dom, this looks like the M8. And to that I will say you are correct, but HTC has made improvements where it counts. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And the M8 had a great design, so I'm very happy to see it carried over here on the M9. So on the back side, we do have an improved 20 megapixel shooter there with a dual LED flash. I'm definitely happy that we've changed the rear shooter here. And on the front side, you can see here that we have our boom sound speakers, which is definitely something great that was carried over from previous generations of this lineup. And we have an improved front facing camera as well. Now the display here, you'll find the same five inch 1080p display that we saw on the M8. And on the side here, we have some changes with the button layout. So you can see here that we have the lock button that was moved actually to underneath the volume rockers, making it much easier to reach with your thumb. Right where your thumb rests is where that lock button is. Definitely a welcome change here. And we have the buttons up top, which are volume buttons, as opposed to rockers found on the M8. And we have a SIM card tray right above that. Now moving along to the top side, we have an iron blaster. So that's still present here in case you were a fan of that over on the M8 and the M7. And on the bottom, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and our micro USB slot. So this is pretty much it. On the inside, we have the Snapdragon 810 processor and three gigabytes of RAM. Another great thing happening here with Sense 7 is the ability to customize it more. So we have a lot of personalization options here and we do have some themes to choose from. So we can change or edit the theme. And I'm not exactly sure if this is specific to the M9. It might just be along with Sense 7, which definitely seems to be the case, but we have a ton of themes here to choose from. You can pick a different theme, or you can even just go ahead and change the accent colors that are found here on the M9. So we can change it to something a little more suitable, back out to the home screen, it'll reset that, reload up your color scheme here, and everything is all themed exactly how you want it. So just a cool little option there in the settings to be able to personalize the HTC One M9 more, or Sense 7 more specifically, for your liking. So overall, I'm pretty excited to find out more about the HTC One M9 and bring you a full review in the future, but here's Sense 7, just a quick look at it. Everything's pretty smooth. Uh, we have the same kind of app switcher here going on. Uh, pretty much everything looks similar, the same kind of HTC style icons and everything like that. So not much has changed in that department. There are some new features with the M9 as well, some software features, which we will get into at a later date. But go ahead and let me know what you think about the M9 down in the comments section below. And be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, as it does help out the channel a lot. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. This is Dom, and have a great day.